the impact on the last four years is quite severe. Just think about it. We keep hearing that ripping up roads like Sinclair. Well, Sinclair is a streetcar, it's not the LRT. So what happened is in the last four years, black become white, white become black. A streetcar all of a sudden became an LRT. And you know, so as a result, what happened? That all of this discussion about public transit became politicized in a very, very negative way. We wasted four years of talking about LRT versus subways, but they're really talking about streetcar versus subway, not LRTs. LRTs is world class. We have it in Edmonton, in Calgary, in Vancouver, in Ottawa, very cold places, no problem. It's world class. And yet somehow this city have this LRT phobia. We do. And so we should not reward bad decision by saying yes one more time to the Scarborough subway. You know, I know it takes courage to say no, but we cannot reward these bad, bad decisions because if not, we are basically saying that let us leave this transit planning to politicians running for election. That's the last thing we should do. We should let transit experts do their planning. And then as political candidates, we should say, yeah, TDC top priority, downtown subway relief line has come together, get the political power and the energy when we come together and say, we'll get it done. That is what leadership is about. It's not about rewarding people that are not telling you the truth. And let me tell you, what happened when that, we wasted four years on transit, but a lot of things got left behind. Young people, their percentage of unemployment went from 18% to almost 21, 22% now. Children living in poverty, it went from not too bad to now almost one out of three kids living in poverty. Some may even go to bed hungry tonight. And if you look at academic studies, like in Lee's study, it said that investment in seniors and children are below the rate of inflation in the last four years. So we have left them behind. We have not invested adequately. And you know, my two friends here are not talking about investing in social services. I'm the only one talking about building 15,000 units of affordable housing, 3,000 childcare spaces, 5,000 jobs for young people. Those things matter to people's daily lives. It's not just about public transit. It's also about building hope in a neighborhood. And that's what we need. So I believe we have two choices in this election. We can choose to cut or to build, to divide or to bring people together. I know where I stand and I choose to bring all of us together to build a better city, a more caring city where no one is left behind, where everyone counts. So please join with me this coming Monday. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Chow.